10. Acute colitis is an inflammation of the colon or large intestines. Common causes of acute colitis in dogs include parasites, bacteria, foreign material like for example bones, garbage and plant material. This condition can be also the result of food allergies. The clinical signs range from very mild to severe and may include diarrhea, blood, or mucus in the stools, straining, painful defecation, weakness, reluctance to walk, abdominal pain and dehydration. Diagnosis Your veterinarian will perform a physical exam including abdominal palpation. Blood work, including a complete blood count and serum biochemistry profile will be performed, as well as a urinalysis. A stool sample will be examined for GI parasites. A stool sample should also be sent out to a laboratory for polymerase chain reaction testing to check for the presence of Campylobacter, Clostridium, Giardia, Salmonella, Coronavirus, and Parvovirus. Abdominal x-rays may reveal masses or tumors in the GI tract, fecal impaction, thicken large intestinal tissues or other abnormalities. If symptomatic treatment doesn't resolve the problem, the most useful procedure for identifying the underlying cause of colitis is a colonoscopy that can be used to remove tissue samples from different areas of the lining of the colon. The camera at the end of the scope allows your veterinarian to visualize the lining of the colon to check for areas that appear abnormal. Treatment Options Treatment of colitis requires identifying and resolving the underlying condition, S, that are causing inflammation of the colon. To deal with the symptoms of colitis in an otherwise healthy pet, a common approach is to fast your dog or cat for 24 hours. As long as you have a healthy, vibrant pet that just has sudden diarrhea, fasting for 24 hours is fine. You never withhold water, however, just food. Then you slowly reintroduce a bland diet. I recommend a bland diet of canned pumpkin and cooked turkey rather than the traditional rice and ground beef diet that many veterinarians recommend. With the canned pumpkin and cooked turkey diet, there are fewer carbohydrates and less sugar for abnormal gut flora to use as a food source. The bland diet should be followed by a low-residue novel protein diet, especially if food allergies or sensitivities are suspected. The best way to determine what not to feed a pet with a suspected food allergy is by performing a food allergy test. There are a number of homeopathics, herbs, nutraceuticals, and different probiotic strains I use regularly that are very helpful in reducing GI inflammation. Certain procedures such as a fecal transplant can also be extremely beneficial. Whether therapies are introduced before, during, or after dietary change depends on your pet's specific issues. Changing too many things at once can make symptoms worse. Professional guidance is often needed to walk pet's owners through the process, especially if the patient is hypersensitive and no matter what you do it tends to make the diarrhea worse. Important points in the treatment of acute colitis. Give all medications as directed by your veterinarian. Call the animal hospital if you cannot carry out any prescribed treatment. Do not give our pet any solid food for 24 hours, then feed the diet recommended by your veterinarian. Allow unlimited access to clean, fresh water. Restrict your pet's activity to unleash walking during recovery. Enforce rest until the stools return to normal. Please remember to contact your veterinarian if the clinical signs worsen or new signs appear. Your dog seems painful or constantly strains to defecate. There is evidence of blood in the stool. Your dog is losing weight. Please remember to subscribe and share our channel with your family and friends. For special offers on non-prescription veterinary products, books, and equipment please click the link on the description of this video.